Hello, I'm Jonathan from Shooting Stuff. In front of me are a bunch of Glock pistols in the 40 Smith & Wesson caliber. Here's a story. So I started my journey with Glock pistols using the Glock 17 Gen 1 and for competition use I quickly progressed onto the major caliber 40 Smith & Wesson in Glock 22 and I shot that for many years in IPSC style shooting. I got my Springbok colors in 1996 representing South Africa at the World Shoot in Brazil and that was really the start of my interest in the more powerful Glock pistols. As my interest expanded, I thought it's worthwhile getting a variety of these. And here we have the good, the bad, and the beautiful. The good is the Model 22, which is the standard size, the same as the Glock 17. The compact version, the Model 23, and then the long slide, the 24. In the 9mm equivalent, this would be 17, 19, and 17L. Uh, why that one was done differently, who knows, but at least when they got to the 40s, Glock gave it a proper number. Why are there two of each? Well, these are the standard models, and the ones on the box have ported barrels. So it's the compensated version, and you can see there's a port in the slide and a port in the barrel. So when the shot is fired, the high pressure gases are vented upwards, causing a downward pressure on the barrel to help manage recoil. The Model 22 and 23 each have a single port in the front of the slide, but the 24 is the beauty with multiple ports in the barrel and a single big cutout, which is also a weight reducing function on the top of the slide. So on the unported one, the slide is exactly the same and we have plenty of ports on the compensated version just to help push the muzzle down, manage the recoil, and allow you to shoot this powerful pistol a whole lot quicker. A bunch of these pistols came to me when one of the original importers of Glock pistols, Continental Weapons, closed their doors many, many years ago. And a lot of these were kind of left in the inventory that had been stripped for small parts, recoil springs, sights, triggers, and so on. So I acquired them to um, fill in the gaps and it, um, it never really struck me that it's worthwhile having the uh, compensated pistols in 9mm because it's a very moderate caliber, but definitely they're useful in the more powerful pistols. So a lot of interesting uh, history with Continental weapons uh, no longer trading, but a lot of that history is still here and still here. If you'd like to shoot any of these, they're available at uh, the shooting range at Shooting Stuff. Come and visit and enjoy something different. Uh, you won't see these around much these days, but they're a whole lot of fun to shoot in whichever size. Try one, try two, try them all. We're here giving you lots of fun and giving you a whole lot more time to shoot.